leader from row. It's an all two. Alasia Sparkro, can he wrestle the championship lead away from Quattararo? No, very shortly here. Magello has the green clears. 26 riders in qualifying yesterday. Will it be a shock result here today at the end of the eighth round? The top speed, it was here. One Yucati were the two winners previously before Fabio Quattararo out in force. Can Peco Bagnaia win here in Magello to fire some much needed first time in 26 years without Valentino Rossi out of circuit. This is famous, his iconic legendary number 46 was officially retired in a special ceremony. Italian and Nea Bastini he has his work cut out coming from the head of that fourth row. It would be super, super special. It's one thing to win a race in the Mother GP World Championship. It's a whole no bigger incentive, no bigger motivation for the likes of Polman. Fako, can he finally find a way to the top step of the podium in MotoGP? Trying the grid in the Premier class since the Qatar Grand Prix. Jorge Lorenzo on his MotoGP day. Then on the front row of the grid, the three riders on the front row just have 39 motor. It's Esque Magello on the top of Marco Bacsecchi's one-off Grand Prix of Italy in MotoGP. It's go! Great launch up the line by the Pecco Bagnaia. Lacey Spargo looks like crucially he will take that fourth consecutive third place for here. Still a top right by Bacsecchi was to take fifth place here. Pecco Bagnaia so far on home soil. His home fans of the Catisti, they're going to be going ballistic very Yeah, he looks pretty safe from here. He's closest that he's been for a while, Quattararo, but there are no real overtakings in his final few corners because Brad Binder is all over the back of Luca Marini. You can see them in the back. Oh, Zarco does just hold up Marco Bersecchi for fourth place. Marini six, Binder's old. The Catty celebrations here in the Jello. We've got Mar Marquez running on the top ten. We've got Eddie Jones to Gian Antonio running in 11th place. And imagine... <laughs>